a very, very warm welcome to the Art Vlog Art Lovers with me, George Dopamine. Today, I've got a little treat for you. New works by that British master, Frank Auerbach. Auerbach has been a major part of the London art scene and indeed the British and world art scene um, for a very long time now because he's 92. He came, he was born in Berlin in 1931 and he travelled over from Germany to Britain as part of the Kindertransport uh, in 1939, gaining British citizenship in 1947. Tragically, his parents were murdered in Auschwitz in 1942. Once in Britain, he quickly displayed huge skills as both an artist and an actor. He ummed and ahed a little bit about going into acting, but was drawn to art, going to Central St. Martins, and interestingly, Borough Polytechnic, where he was taught by that great David Bomberg alongside Leon Kossov. He's well known today as part of the so-called School of London, um, figurative painters who in the 1960s and 70s rallied against the minimalist avant-garde. He counts amongst his contemporaries people like Francis Bacon, Lucian Freud and the aforementioned Leon Kossov. This show is in a private gallery so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to bring you and obviously these are new works but it is an incredibly exciting opportunity to view works by somebody who is still producing in their 90s. Overback famously spends every single day in his studio up in Camden Town, even Christmas Day. And so um, I can't wait to see these works. I've heard on the grapevine that they're self-portraits. Now, sadly, usually I cover shows which you can come and visit. Unfortunately, due to a very busy schedule, not art vlog related, um, this show closes today. But in the spirit of documenting the London art scene, which is what this channel and the UK art scene to a lesser extent as well, this channel aims to do, um, I wanted to show you these works. So come and join me as we head inside and see some new works by that British master, Frank Auerbach.
Well, art lovers, I've had to take shelter because it's so wet, but I hope you enjoyed those pictures, those new paintings and, and, and drawings by Fran Auerbach. Um, I first of all like to thank um, Hazlitt Holland Hibbert for um, allowing me to show these and giving me permission to share them on the channel. And what a treat it was. My heart's beating faster to the extent I was actually going to go and see another show today. And um, I'm not anymore because I'm sated, I'm full. I don't think it would match it. In my opinion, do you agree with me? Put post in the comments if you do or don't. These were actually masterpieces. And as I say, I very rarely use that with contemporary works, especially when I've just come out of the gallery. There are quotes which I'm going to put up now which explain some of these self-portraits. And they're fantastic. The way that this artist was was breaking his own face down and exploring all the nuances and lines and bags and sags of old age um, was, was incredibly special and they will live with me for a long time. In some ways, you know, it is a very rare artist who can keep creating at the top of their game till so old. Someone like David Bowie um, managed to do it in music, but he was obviously only in his late 60s when he sadly passed away. So this was an electric show. I'm really sorry that you can't come and visit it because it's now closed. But um, I really hope that bringing you these works and uh, will will be a, a little taste of it. Um, I, I think it was outstanding. I mean, if I was rating it, I'd be giving it a 9.5 or even a, maybe even higher out of 10. Um, just because I thought that these were astonishing works breaking down. I mean, it was intense. They were so alive. Let's put these works into context for a second. Frank Albach's been producing over decades and decades, and yet he very rarely touched the self-portrait. Uh, the exhibition tells us there was less than a handful, I think it was three or four self-portraits before this incredible set. Um, and what's really ironic is that COVID and, and the fact that he was an old man in isolation forced him to look at himself for the first time. I'm not sure if that's the whole story because one of the pieces of work in here I noticed was from 2017-18, which was obviously before COVID, but nearly all of these works were produced in his bunker-like studio in the pandemic. And they're astonishing work. Um, I wasn't sure which um, I preferred. Did I prefer um, the, the graphite and chalk, the black and white paintings, or did I did I the black and white drawings? Sorry, or did I prefer the, the paintings? I have to say that my favourites include these self-portraits number five. Um, I really love the colour in them. And also these, so portraits three and four, I thought these were wonderfully expressive. I love the way that these break down to the verge of abstraction. And there were lots of art lovers in the gallery because it's just the last day, sadly, that this is on. And, and we were all working out the different, the different uh, lines and how they, how they, um, how they responded to shapes. But also, I absolutely loved that the black and white and, and the black and white and chalk, and in some cases, a little bit of paint as well. And in some ways, these were even more captivating. So, I mean, I thought this, this private show was incredible. It's always telling when I buy a catalogue. I go to so many art exhibitions, as you know from the channel, I can very rarely afford to buy the catalogue, but in this case, I just had to have it. Um, anyway, oh yeah, it's lovely. I mean, as I say, I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna have a glass of wine now somewhere because I think it's, it's, um, it, it would be unfair to go and see another show having been in the presence. And I feel quite emotional because there is a link from Frank Orbach back to Leon Kossov, back to David Bomberg, back to Walter Sickett. This is the London art scene, alive, um, touching back through Francis Bacon, Lucian Freud, all of these artists. Uh, anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the Art Blog, hit that notification bell for loads of more reviews of shows across London, the South East and beyond. And most importantly of all, God, Get out there and explore the wonderful UK art scene.